my coast, West Coast, Compton, you know what I'm saying? Shout out my folks, they want Dub CNN. My people, TD, what y'all? Dub CNN right here with Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. You just finished your, I think your first show in San Francisco, is that correct? Hell yeah. Crazy. So how, how, how do you feel about the reaction out there? You know, felt like home, man. I knew it wasn't too far from the open. It came with crazy energy, so I knew once I came here, it was the same. So. They made you go back on. Make, made you go back yeah, out yeah. afterwards. Yeah, made me go back out for the encore, man. Dude. I hadn't seen you perform that song. Yeah, ever. That was the first time performing. Dude. First yeah. time. First time. Nice. Uh, oh, that's great. So that last time that we spoke to you was pretty much exactly a year ago. It was funny. One of the questions was, uh, if given the opportunity, would you sign after that? And you didn't answer that question. So. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway, man. Uh, you know, you you've been doing big things and. Uh, touring the world and all right. that, um, how, how much has your life changed since uh, you become quote unquote famous? You know what's crazy, I don't even consider myself famous yet, man, I still, I still be doing the same old shit, it ain't really hit me just up yet, so you, you know. You still move around? I still move around, I just get stopped more when I move around. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that, that's not back to reality, but you know the experience has just been crazy, man, you know. Just me being able to travel the world, you know, nobody in the world, a lot of people, you know, live in life don't get this opportunity to just go see the world, right, you know what I'm saying? I got people, you know, that stayed in, in Compton and all that. Elder, 50, 60, never went out, you know, my pops, his, his, his grand, you know, his grand kid, pops, his dad, he's been in Chicago, all life, never seen the world, you know, so I'm probably really the first out of my life, I mean, out of my family to go out and actually travel, you know, of course, financially, man, put me in a position where I can take care of my folks, you know. Right. You know, being from a family that come from welfare. Yeah, know, I mean, yeah, Being yeah. on that, you know, you know like, you told me your family has always been your main motivation right. when I asked you. Yeah, man. You know, being in a situation where I can, you know, put them in positions, yeah. not just <laughs> giving them money, but put them in positions where they have to go out and do for themselves, you know, okay. and make something for whatever they want to do in life. I can be that extra help and that extra motivation if I can do it because I'm doing it, you know, and they get to see it firsthand. Right. Yeah. So that's what it's about. That's what I'm really happy about, you know. That's the change. Man, I've been I've been hearing is we're gonna hear a new single soon or something like that. Is there any truth to that? Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely hear a new joint, you know what I mean? David Allen, you know, so Good Kid in the Mass City, that's still the title? It's not the official title yet, you know, but you know, it's still in there. I like that title. Yeah, right? everybody knows that title. Everybody knows that title. <laughs> we're walking the lines on the door. Okay. Um, what about what about Black Hippie? What's the current status on the Black oh, Hippie man. project? You know what's crazy about Black Hippie, man? Wow. You know, we put out like four songs, man. Wow, what's up? It was a song right. of the year, man, last year. We put out like four songs, man. People were talking about hippie, black hippie for the past two years when there was something coming, man. So, you know, it's it's one of those situations where, man, we just want to get every artist you know, individually off the ground first. We constantly making music, you know, constantly making music. We put out material, but we want to want to solidify everybody. You know? So, Ab Soul is next. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah. once that, you know, you're seeing some black people. Okay. Maybe you won't. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, yeah, what's up? And you know, before we get out of here, I want to be, I want to get your take on. You know, when we when we spoke, you said that you know you weren't a very materialistic person, yeah. and that's not what you what you thrive for. Mm -hmm. Now you're slowly but surely developing into a money making machine right. for a lot of people, where a lot of people end up eating off of you. Mm -hmm. Like not only you making money, but a lot of people depending on you to make money as you get bigger. Right. Is that something that concerns you to where you will have that pressure to? Keep working towards the money because a lot of people are depending on you. You know, you know what's crazy is my situation. What I tell my folks that's around me, don't you know? Look at me to carry me, you know, you know, forever. Right. I basically want to, you know, be in a situation where we all work together, where eventually, you know, you will be in a higher position from where you at right now. You know, what I mean, with the work. You know, uh, so what I, you know, so. I'm in a situation where I tell my folks what I'm doing right now is only to put you in a position where you want to do what you want to do and you know, branch off. You know, so it's not really about the pressure, it's about having that understanding, you know, with, with my people. You know what I'm saying? It starts I can't be around people, you know.
that's you know helped me get to a spot. I mean, a, a, a place, a certain place in my career, and and not responsible enough, you know, to manage that money. Right. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Be consistent and, and have a set goal for yourself, man, because you don't want to just depend on me making these records all day. Because at the end of the day, who know what to happen? I can walk out this music right now and it be all over. Then what? You know, so when you speak, say that. right? <laughs> I mean, it's harsh reality. It's real. When you speak that, you know, to your folks, get them an understanding of that. They know it's you know much more than just be going out here and making money. Do something for yourself. Man, I appreciate it. I know you're gonna be tired after the show. We're gonna let you go home and get things. Um, Any last words for everybody out there? TDE, Top Dog Entertainment. You know, we was pushing this line for years, been almost ten years in LA. Now we're just now getting a piece of it. So stay tuned. Hot pop.